watch my analytics for the podcast and one of the most popular videos on YouTube. So the most popular segment that we run, and this is kind of how I see what segments are doing good. This is why we have recurring segments for LinkedIn Lunatics, because that stuff is performing well. Another thing that really performed well was what was the difference between an electrician and an electrical engineer? And this was a, a segment that I posted over a year ago, and it has become my most watched video on Facebook. So I said, all right, cool. Let's do the difference between a mechanic and a mechanical engineer. So, Ta-da! If you're watching in video format, you're going to see a lovely presentation that I dolled up on the difference between a mechanic and a mechanical engineer. What is the difference? Well, let's see. So what is a mechanic? A mechanic is somebody that repairs or maintains machinery. So generally they have some kind of specialty like a car or like a heavy machinery, like a tractor, or track hose. But a mechanic is a person that repairs and maintains machinery. And then a mechanical engineer, well, mechanical engineering is a branch of engineering. So, but mechanical engineers themselves are the ones that are designing the mechanical systems or the products or the machines, or they're integrating mechanical things into a machine. So mechanic, they're the ones that are physically working on it. And mechanical engineer is the one that does design and maybe Mechanical engineer will do a little bit of tinkering with it as well, but the mechanical engineer is the one that's doing design. Mechanic is the one that's working on it. So what's the difference between the day-to-day -day life of a mechanic versus a mechanical engineer? Well, a mechanic is going to be building and repairing machines, so they're going to be doing a lot of physical work, and their responsibility is to do it safely. So their, their job is to do a high-quality work at repairing or building something and do it safely. And there's an organization called OSHA that regulates how they have to work safely. Um, mechanical engineer designs the machines. So they're specifying machines as part of a larger system. They're working in a team of other engineers that are maybe also working with the mechanics and collaborating with the mechanics for input onto the design. But their responsibility is to make a safe design and meet all safety and regulatory requirements for what they're doing. So what kind of work environment do they have? A mechanic is going to be working in a shop. So they're going to have heavy equipment that they're going to be working on or an auto shop. So we're talking like a maybe an air conditioned building, maybe not. Um, or they're working out in the field. So if they're a millwright, which is just an industrial construction mechanic, um, they'll be doing welding and bolting equipment with hydraulic equipment and hydraulic tools. So, but on the converse, a mechanical engineer's work environment can vary a lot. Most of them work in an office setting, um, and some of them also will travel to the field, and some of them might even be able to work remotely, work from home. Uh, but they're working with office staff, such as designers, drafters, salespeople, people that are managing the project, people that might be a product manager that follows a specific product through the life cycle of its design. Uh, they're working with safety and quality people, and they're working with, if they're working in construction, they're working with construction managers. And then some engineers become field engineers, and they actually can work out in a production site, in a production line, or in a construction field. So different variability in the different types of work environments that you can have as a mechanical engineer. What kind of education do you need? Well, for a mechanic, you generally require maybe like a high school diploma or a GED, but generally there is not a formal education requirement for a mechanic, though there are, you know, associates programs where you can get maybe an AAS and I'm going to start speaking beyond my knowledge, but the, you can go to like an associate's program and, and kind of get the experience and, and get the, the background you need to go work on the cars and then go get a job to be a mechanic. But life training and education you have as a mechanic is generally employer specific. And so, for example, if you work for Audi, you might go through Audi's series of mechanic training programs to become an Audi master mechanic. And then if you wanted to transfer to another auto auto manufacturer in their machine and their in their mechanic shop, then you might need to do some proficiency and show them a resume and show them what kind of experience you have. And then they'll transfer you into wherever their appropriate level of experience they think that applies for you is. 
And then any licenses you need as a mechanic is generally a regional business license, for example, or an employer sp specific licensing, as we kind of talked about previously. For a mechanical engineer, it's a lot more formal. So the, you're talking like a four year degree program. Some people get a master, some people even get a PhD. Uh, it, a license you can get as a me mechanical engineer is your professional engineering license. It's two exams. You take your fundamentals of engineering and then your, I don't remember what the second one, I should know what the second one's called. I think it's just the, it's called the principles and practice of engineering PE exam. So your fundamentals of engineering and your principles and practice of engineering, and then you have to have a certain number of years of experience in the U.S. depending on your state. In Texas, it's four years, and then you can get uh, you can get licenses as a, as a professional engineer, which gives you your engineer stamp. Where you can stamp drawings. In the U.S., you want to go to a program that's ABET accredited, and licensing organizations for mechanical engineers is the NCEES, which is who you'd get your professional engineering license through. Uh, well, you take your professional engineering licensure exams through, and then another professional organization that a mechanical engineer might be familiar with is the American Society of Mechanical Engineers if you're in the U.S. So very different types of education requirements. What kind of skills? I'd say that the skills are actually pretty similar. Both instances, you need to have good problem solving skills. You need to be able to communicate and work in teams. But the mechanic, you got to have some physical skills. You'll be able to handle a tool and you have to be disciplined. You got to show up for your hours. You got to show up on time, leave on time. You got to manage your, your physical hours. For a mechanical engineer, again, problem solving. You might have to work in some digital softwares. You might have to have an additional level of computer technical proficiency. You'll have to have a lot of general understanding of engineering concepts that you might have learned in school, understanding of regulatory requirements and knowing how to navigate that process. And also you have to have a staying power. So mechanic, you know, you, you, for the most part, you go in, you work on a project for a day and you put it down you go back home and then you come back and then you work on it. For, as a mechanical engineer, you might have that project that lingers maybe months, years, and you have to have that staying power to work towards a longer term solution. And, and sometimes your work mentally just gets taken home with you a little bit more than maybe if you were working as a mechanic. Though I imagine if I was a mechanic struggling with solving a problem, it would it would weigh on my mind whenever I went home from work too. But that's what kind of skills you need. And then lastly, let's talk money. So all of this is, the money doesn't really mean anything to me because it really just depends on where you are. Uh, it really, cost of living area even more is, is even more important if you're as a mechanical engineer than as a mechanic. But obviously your experience level and the type of work you're doing, the industry that you're working in, any other kind of incentives that you have are going to influence how much money you make. As a mechanic, you're generally going to be working hourly and you can work shop hours. So for example, if you have a piece of, some shops work this way where especially with large automotive companies where there's certain amount of hours assigned to certain tasks. And if you beat that time, you still get paid for the number of hours that associated with that task. So if you can work faster, then you get paid more. Uh, you can make more money. You can make $50, 50 hours on 40 hours of work. Um, you also can make more money by working longer hours. If you're an hourly employee, you can get time and a half for overtime, uh, depending on how your, how your contract is set up. Uh, for mechanical engineers, most mechanical engineers are salaried employees. So they, again, they have a higher salary than the average earnings of a mechanic generally. Uh, but that with that salaried employment comes less flex, less opportunities for overtime, more flexibility in the number of hours you can work, positive or negative of your typical 40 hours a week. Your hours generally are though more stable and your income is more stable, but you do have opportunities to earn a little bit more money via sometimes a bonus structure, uh, stock options, that kind of thing. And then generally you're not making overtime as a salaried employee. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the difference between a, a high level summary of the difference between a mechanic and a mechanical engineer. And unfortunately, I, I tried to line up one of my good mechanic friends to bring him onto the podcast to kind of talk through this. Unfortunately, he was not available, uh, but maybe Give me a comment down below if you want to hear a mechanic reacts to a mechanical engineer's opinion on the difference between a mechanic and a mechanical engineer. Let me know and I'll bring them on. But 
that's uh, that's the difference between a mechanic and a mechanical engineer. Miscommunicating, I'm miscommunicating. I just made a pilot, then they threw me on the stations. Now I'm not complaining, now I'm not complaining. My thoughts get complicated, I cannot explain in lameness. Never losing focus because I ain't chasing payments. Still playing in the basin while I'm working on arrangements. They heard the kid in 50 countries, thank God that's amazing. But I'd rather thank Spotify, they put me on the station.